Righto, today we are going to have a look at the ASUS ProArt PA329Q Professional Monitor. So this is a 32 inch 4K Ultra HD monitor, it's IPS, matte coating, and this display is a content creator's dream. So if you're a colorist, video editor, photographer, desktop publisher, anything that has to do with color, this is the monitor for you. I mean, on the specification sheet, it says 99.5% Adobe RGB, Rec. 709, over 100% sRGB, and most of the P3 color gamut there. So if you're a professional that relies on color, this is what you want. Now, with every monitor, I always get asked, what's it like gaming? This is an IPS panel, so the games look fantastic. It's a nice size, 32 inch. It's 60 hertz, five millisecond response. So games look fantastic on it. I didn't notice any massive issues with ghosting. 10-bit display in here. So for gaming, all right, if you're a first-person shooter, you might want something with a faster response time, whatever. Now, Asus have plenty of ROG monitors for you. But still, when I played games on here, it was a fantastic experience. Although you will notice, if you come from a high refresh rate monitor, you will notice the difference there. This is not made for gamers, this is made for professionals, where colour is of the utmost importance. If we have a look at the inputs, we have 4 times HDMI 2.0s, mini display port 1.2, another display port 1.2, 3.5mm mini jack, and 5 USB 3.0s. I love how they have USBs on the side of the monitor, that's fantastic. And also you'll see the card reader is on the side of the monitor as well. Great, that is great for a professional. Now you can actually import multiple devices and have picture on picture. So you can have like four devices connected and you can have each one of them display a different device. So, you know, if you're a trader or something like that or just required four screens for some reason to be connected to the one monitor and see them all at once, you can do that. This also comes calibrated in the box and the calibration was bang on. You get a calibration report when you open up the box when I calibrated it myself you can see the measurements there and it was like bang on so color is fantastic and you also have the pro art calibration software technology where you can basically change between the different modes Adobe RGB, sRGB, Rec. 709, P3 etc and you can also use that 14-bit LUT there so this is geared for professionals it has the professional calibration tools in it I suspect a lot of people won't even use that they'll probably calibrate it themselves but it works with the software as well so for what this is built for the professional that uses color on a daily basis as I said it is absolutely fantastic that matte screen is great and you'll also be able to put it in the exact position you want it has tilt it has swivel it has pivot it has a vase amount as well height adjustment and flicker free technology and i can say without a doubt that this matte coating has on it is fantastic you don't get any glare and you see the true color without any hindrance so being a 4K monitor, everything is pin sharp as you would expect. Don't expect a super contrasty look that, say, a gloss panel has that's not 100% accurate where they add too much contrast and too much color. You're not going to get that with this monitor. This is just all about accuracy and it looks fantastic because I do like things color accurate. Now looking at the overall design and build quality, you can see it has thin bezels. So you could put a couple next to each other and you'll see because the bezels are so thin, it'll look pretty much seamless when monitors are joined together there. You have a nice sturdy stand there. It's thin. It actually looks stylish and you've got to remember that in studios we'll be using this so I don't want no ugly behemoth in their studio. This looks fantastic. Thin at the back. It's all black. Has a metal finish around the edge there. You have a cavity in the stand there so you can route your cables through that cavity. Keep everything nice and clean. And overall, when I was video editing with this, it was fantastic. And the colors, I could really trust them. I had 32 inches of screen real estate, 16 by nine. So I had lots of screen real estate, which is fantastic when you're editing video. And having a display where you know you can trust the colors just makes a huge difference. And seeing that it was calibrated like bang on out of the box, that's like a whole lot of peace of mind for me. Now this thing isn't cheap. It's like two grand Australian, so I can imagine it's around the 1200 mark in the US 
and around the same amount of pounds in the UK, so it's not cheap. But as I've said when I've reviewed, like, say, laptops that have 100% Adobe RGB monitors, professional monitors that have 100% Adobe RGB are expensive because you get what you pay for. You pay for that color accuracy. And I've said that when I've reviewed laptops with that, you don't realize how much of a good value they are because you know professional gear is expensive. And this is the case with this monitor. It is expensive, but you get what you pay for. And professionals won't care about that because it saves them time having to, you know, redo their work because the color was off. Professionals will definitely pay this much. And if you're into content creation, photographer, desktop publishing, anything like that, this is the sort of monitor you want. And I definitely recommend it because it's so color accurate and you can definitely trust it. Also the on-screen display there, very easy to use. You can go in there, change various settings. It's not a head wreck like some of them can be. It's a very highly recommended monitor. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Would you pay this sort of money for a professional grade monitor? And what sort of color gamut does your monitor have? I'd like to really thank you guys for watching. Until next time guys, radio.